I think I can, I will. Welcome back. What a travesty. The destruction. What were they doing? I mean, tests? It looks like they were trying to blow something up. Or hide or conceal something, perhaps. I got an email today on earthquake over in Guam. So I decided, let's check this out. So I check out the coordinates. I go right to the epicenter of where this earthquake occurred. And, you know, still tinkering around with this Google stuff. But uh, I go there. I'm checking it out. It's in right off of Guam where this earthquake happened. And I'm just moseying around. This is all under ocean, but it's showing you the topography. Very interesting. So I'm looking around. And I'm I'm trying to see if there's any kind of, you know, Structures, evidence of something, structures hidden, maybe a road or a pathway, walls, uh, who knows, you know, I mean, there's a lot under the ocean, and with technology and stuff, there's different ways, but I'm just monkeying around, and then look what it it looks like there's some kind of a, a trail or a road or is that some kind of maybe a body part of a giant? I mean, who knows? I, anatomy wasn't my, my major or anything like that, so... I know the basic muscle groups and body parts and that, but I'd have to get out a book to... But anyways, I don't want to veer too far off course here like I am with this freaking Google map. But anyways, getting back on target, I get this email, an earthquake occurs. Okay, so I go to the earthquake, I'm looking around, and it looks like these are structures. These It looks like they're... And then there's a pathway. There's some kind of like road system. This is all underwater. But does it look like a star fort? Could this be a star fort? Or some kind of a stronghold that was overtaken one time or another in the past? I don't know. I'm just tossing out ideas. But it's just so strange. You know, the Bible talks about, you know, how earthquakes will uh, be multiplied in various places around the earth in the end days. So anyways, I always pay attention to these earthquakes. Well, then I look at these structures and I'm seeing star forts. It's just so interesting. And then I'm thinking, well, who's behind the star fort? Who's... And then I come over a little bit, and then there it is. In Attack Atoll. This guy, and all these islands... Now, they're, they're going to tell you that this is the place where, you know, the Navy did all their nuclear testing, and it was. But at one point in time, this could have been just paradise. An attack at all. So, they cap over all this nuclear waste and put a dome. And they call it good. Yeah, we did all these tests and then we 
He capped it. And this guy comes along as part of the cleanup crew. These brave heroes. They go in there and they clean this up. A lot of them die, these veterans. This guy recounts his, you know, his experience and gives his testimony and all of that. This place, you can read this for yourself. Just crazy. So, guys, this isn't too far from Hawaii. And that's what leads me to think. If these are star forts, I go looking around for star forts on Hawaii. I don't see anything on Wikipedia. But... So let's just go take another look. I could be out to lunch. I mean... I'm just speculating here. So there's Guam. The, the, there's where the earthquake happened. Okay, there's the epicenter, this huge... Look at this. And then there's that trail, that like trail thing. I, or it looks like some kind of path. That's what got my attention, really. And obviously all these structures look like... They look like stars. They look like they're structures. Look at that. Right there. What's that? Oh, yeah, that's just, uh, dude. Okay, so, look, there's another one. Oh, more. They're all over, right? Hey, these are left over from being bombed to smithereens. Look, they still have their shape even. <laughs> Flood them, bomb them, it doesn't matter, you know. They're still around. So here's these Marshall Islands. And not too far away from this earthquake. Where they have all this nuclear testing. And here's all these Atoll Islands. There's a whole series of them. These, like, these, they create like a lagoon inside the ocean. They're like these circular, crazy island s systems. And they form like lagoons inside the oceans. It's crazy. And there you have it. So there's all these islands. They're all grouped together. Here they are. And the topography here is just nuts. What's under the sea is just nuts. Bikini. Bikini. Bikini Atoll. That's what kind of grabbed my attention. The bikini. Sandy beaches. Tropical weather. Lagoon on one side, ocean on the other. Prime real estate. Prime real estate. Not anymore. Not after the U.S. government gets their hands on it. No, no, no. No, instead, we're going to have a couple army bases. We're going to blow some shit up. And, yeah, then we're going to call it off limits. How about that? Make sure you pay your bill. Pay your taxes. All right, so going back to this other place where they did the nuclear testing here. This is named after the guy. I'm just zooming around. I'm just kind of getting a little lay of the land. I don't really know where I'm going with this. but So Guam, Marshall Islands, what's the next stop? Hawaii. Well, I look up Hawaii and, you know, on the surface, I'm not seeing any registered big mighty star forts getting back to these star forts. But, you know, I, I know that there's a connection with this old world order mm -hmm. and them trying to cover up the past and whoever controls the present controls the future. <laughs> and whoever controls the past controls the present. I mean, 
It's like the golden rule. Uh, what is it? Jim Mar says, whoever has the gold makes the rules. Well, we've come up in an age of just our, our generations have all been deceived big time. So this is what I found in Hawaii, in Kauai, actually. An island I haven't been to yet. I've been to Maui a couple times. So beautiful. Really love Hawaii in general. But this Russian comes over here back in the day and builds a star fort. This guy builds himself a fortified star fort. You know, he's a German. And he brought the idea from where else? From Europe, from Russia. Okay, this Russian style built by this German, and then I'm like, well, who does who does who does uh, Schaefer answer to? This guy's name is Schaefer. The Russian American Company. Mr. George Schaefer. Here's some of the remnants there from his fort still in Kauai. They're still around. Of course, so you can look into that. But, um, oh, a prince. Of course. You got the money. There you go. So there's, let's take a look at this guy a little bit closer. George Anton Schaefer. Prominent guy, the guy that built this Russian style fort in 1779, born. He was a surgeon, a doctor, <clears throat> and fluid in multiple languages. Works for the, look at this guy, the Russian American company. What do you know? The Star Fort. Look at that. Yep. Right there. So anyhow, there was something going down. I, you know, there was a remnant. There was a history. Here's the Russian Empire, the double-headed eagle, which of course the Freemasons have adopted as their symbol, of course. But that's their style. Move into these old cities and these temples and tell, tell everybody that you built them, right? Take all the credit. Even take their logos and steal them, use them for your own. But I kind of lean on what Alan Hughes says. And you know, who knows, maybe that double-headed eagle stuff is original Christian golden age. So let's zoom in here on this star fort in Hawaii, in Kauai. Let's just go in a little bit closer on this star fort. There it is. We're going real close. You can this is where they would have had their buildings. They're obviously not around, but zoom out here and you can see the traces in the outline of the actual star fort. And they had a pretty good pretty good wall to it. Definitely, you know, not something you're just gonna hop right over. <laughs> and you know for what purpose well hey you just protect what you, what is yours so so there's Hawaii there's the earthquake okay let's zoom out let's get them in the same so we got boom 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 and the Marshall Islands in the middle Look at all this topography under the water. Look at that. It makes out like a big star. <laughs> Am I tripping? It's like it was some kind of a big civilization connecting all of it 